You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from October 23rd. Yeah. It's a pretty good show. It's true. Minus the fact, the part where I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> nah, that wasn't bad. Was Between just, that was and the exhausted. bathroom breaks for me, you know. Yeah. Um, Any hoo ha. Uh, so the show started with uh, TLC recap from the night before. Obviously, that's what they always do. Not a surprise. Yeah, with uh, right after the pay per views. Mm-hmm. Um, so the show, uh, I guess the actual opening was Angle coming out. And uh, he announced several and uh, champion versus champion matches that will be happening at uh, Survivor Series. Yep. So we're gonna get Natalia versus Alexa Bliss, Baron Corbin. I, I thought you were thinking, not talking like him. <laughs> versus The Miz, which is probably gonna be a not, not a very, very good, good match. match. No. no. Um, the Usos versus Seth and Dean, which uh-huh. should be a very good match. That should be a very good match. And then they should make that a Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> That would be fun. It's true. And then what we already knew with Jinder versus Brock. Yes. Um, there's no other champions. Well, the, yes, that is. Well, there is. Yeah. But Drew McIntyre only... versus Enzo. That that would be good. <laughs> that makes sense. NXT versus Cruiserweight. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, the there's also the possibility that. That might not actually be the matches, though. It's true, because they, they kept making it a point to say that if they're the champions, mm-hmm. and I believe they said that on SmackDown last night as so, well. So if there was one title to change, mm-hmm. which one do you think it's going to be? Well, if Roman's back in time, could we have the Shield versus the New Day? Even though it's technically not. Well, that would. Well, yeah, that would. Uh, no. No, no. no. I don't think they don't want to bury either team. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the New Day are gonna. I think they're gonna be out of that title picture for yeah, a while, probably. Um, I was thinking maybe Baron. Yeah. Not not Sin Cara taking the title, but <laughs> why not? Because that would be dumb. Um. Yeah, but who would you drop it to? Ty. Yeah, probably. It's possible, I guess. But yeah, probably not. Nah. They're they're very big on Corbin for some reason. Like that is bad. It's just. They keep on doing such bad things with him, so it makes it seem like they don't really care about him. Ah, uh, you know, he he does seem to do it to himself a little bit, though. Yeah, well, he's arguing with Dave Meltzer. I was gonna on say Twitter. he he he's just not supposed to acknowledge him. <laughs> he just can't uh, help himself. Nope. Anyway, why so... haven't I been in any six star matches? <laughs> I'm Baron Corbin. So, um, but yeah, he also announces on top of that two uh traditional survivor series matches mm-hmm. that are five on five yes they're uh, one for uh, the men and one for the women yes so uh and he said he's gonna announce who's gonna be in it later on in the night mm-hmm. so the the women is not exactly a surprise because there's not a whole that's not a very big pool to go mm-hmm. off of nope so <laughs> so that that one's not a like uh no, no shocker with that one, no. but uh, we'll get into that later on. Sure. So uh, before he, well, I guess he goes to leave, but then the Miz comes out. I, with, I think that's it. Yeah, with um, Cesaro, Sheamus, and uh, Curtis, Curtis Axel, Axel wearing a suit mm-hmm. when no one else was wearing a suit. Yep. So. It's his gimmick now. <laughs> I guess so. It's like uh, he's just like he's that, like Drew that, Gulak. Yeah. He kind of looks like someone's dad that's just standing there. It's true. Well, he but. he. He lost his opportunity to have his moment at TLC. That's true. Um, anyway, so uh, the Miz uh, says, "Yeah, well, they come out right and surround the ring." Yeah, 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 like the Shield does. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he said that the only reason why Angle got involved last uh, last night was because he wanted the spotlight for himself. Yep. And then shortly after. Oh, he, uh, yeah, then, uh, the, the shield music hits and then Dean and Seth come through the, the mm. crowd like they have been doing. And then they go into the ring and the Miz, uh, he then, uh, says that, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. I'm very confused with the order here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, angle anyway, makes a, uh, six man tag Yeah. with the Miz and Cesaro and Sheamus versus Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and somebody who stuck around, Mr. AJ Styles. Yeah. So, so that we uh we got that match that mm-hmm. we went to a commercial break, right? And then the match started. Yeah. And this was a fun match, which 
we shouldn't be surprised. No, uh, yeah. A bunch of good spots. They gave it a lot of time. It's, well, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're pretty much their first hour was the same story. Yeah. More well, this and then the match after it. That led into it. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah, all the, it's all the same, like, cohesiveness. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it wasn't bad. It was a good start. I wasn't talking about that and just what it leads into. Are you talking about with Kane? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's we'll, we'll odd, get we'll get but, to it yeah. when we get to it. But yeah, like like I said, it was a good match. Yeah, a couple of good spots. Mm-hmm. Um, what they do, uh, all three of them jumped over the top rope, right? They uh, not like not sp- not springboarded, but uh, what the hell you call it? What the suicide dives? No, when they pulled the top rope and just jumped over. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess it's kind of a springboard. Yeah, something. And then they all did. Did they do the suicide or is it just Seth I, and I Dean? I know right? Seth and Dean did. I don't right. think AJ did. No, or is that what led to the finish? No, it led. led to I the... thought he was left in. AJ was left in the yeah, ring. Yeah, the Cesaro. two of them did the suicide dives right. on um, on the Miz, Miz and, and uh, Sheamus, and right? Axel and oh, Sheamus. Yeah, right. And that left Cesaro yeah, and AJ in the yeah. ring, and then AJ hit the phenomenal forearm for the win. Yeah. And so. then as soon as the match ended, Kane came out, and uh, all three of them stood there looking at Kane, and AJ was like, what did I get myself into? Just kept looking around. I thought he was going to hit one of them or something. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Kane ended up beating down the three of them. Yep. Or he, yeah, he just well, them Kane, Kane beat up or knocked out the three of them, and mm-hmm. then they started beating on him. The, oh. the Seamus Cesaro and oh, uh, right, the yes. Miz yeah. joined in. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Uh, then they kind of just led to commercial. Yep. And then Kane was still standing in the ring. Still standing in the <laughs> he must ring. Must have been in the his, ring for like five minutes. Yeah, with his with his music was playing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, he says that he proved last night that Braun is not the, the or he proved last night that he's the only monster on Raw. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Braun was all hype, and he was when he was saying that yeah. he wanted more competition. Yep. Kane brought the competition, and then he uh, proved that he couldn't handle it. Right. So now Kane wants more competition. Yes. So basically, it's the same thing Braun was doing. Yeah. So he and he demands competition, and then a little surprising of who came out. Yep, Finn Balor. Yep. So uh, he went from wrestling AJ Styles last night to wrestling Kane. Tonight. Well, I'm guessing their whole end game here was to make Kane look strong. Why they're doing that, well, I don't need. It's going to lead to a match between him and Braun. Yeah, yeah obviously. So obviously, there's that's but, the end game. Th- th- there's no need to make him look strong. I guess I don't know. They probably I don't, unless they have something else planned, they could probably could have gotten away with no but, real build to but this. They could have used any other person on the roster beside Finn. Oh no, I have no problem with the Finn part. It doesn't matter. No, even though he went from beating AJ Styles to jobbing to Kane. Well. Well, A, it was it's not like he got squashed. No. And and B I mean he had very little offense. Well, you, but that's Alright, yeah. well anyway. Yeah. So yeah, Finn comes down and Kane basically beat the crap out of him. Mm-hmm. Action spilled to the outside. Uh Balor hits a drop toe hold on Kane and yeah. Kane goes into the steps, go back in the ring, and that's when I guess he did hit the drop kick into the corner, right? Yeah, and then and he then goes he up for the, for the coup, de coup de gras. gras. Kane just gets up grabs Finn, we threw him off the top, right? Mm-hmm. And then he chokes slammed him three times and pinned him. Yeah. So but, I mean you build up the guy over Finn and then have him lose like this. I mean over AJ and Well I well A, Doug, there was no way AJ was gonna win. I, I anyway. realize that, but But I think that this was more of a to kind of jump Kane instead of necessarily hurt Finn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I think that having having Kane beat Finn as opposed to him beating a weaker person makes it look better. I guess, but why 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 are we doing this? It doesn't really hurt. No, actually Finn. the end game is is because Roman's gonna retire Kane. That'll probably be the real end game. Mm, I don't know. He's retired I his like, brother. I feel like Kane's not gonna be retiring like in a traditional sense. Yeah, it'll probably just be him he's done. Yeah. I mean, even the Big Show kind of got a send off, even though he'll probably be back. Oh, he'll be back. There's no way he won't be back. When I don't know. Yeah, but he'll. I'm sure he'll have at least one more match. I don't know. Um. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. That's true. So, but I mean, uh, all right. So, so let's let's talk about this though. Wow. So originally, the plans that, well, rumored to be was Finn versus Brock at Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Now, there's no way in hell that's happening if he can't get past someone like Kane. Unless they do something where Demon, Finn, 
battles Kane and beats him. That could come up like on Raw between now and Survivor Series. Yeah. Couldn't or, just or it Car- could Carl Anderson out there to take the pin. <laughs> or that could happen at um whatever the pay per view is for Raw in uh, December. Armageddon. It's not Armageddon. <laughs> um, I don't remember what it was. It was a SmackDown Capital paper- Punishment. No. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> Invasion. Yeah. It was. Although that would kind of make sense if they continued the Raw versus SmackDown stuff. Ah. Um, anyway, if uh, they could have a match at the mm-hmm. December pay per view, that would make sense. But yeah, bragging but, rights. Anyway, um, the, what they could do is just have Finn be the last man standing at uh, at Survivor Series, and that would help him anyway. You know, make it. I guess good. that's true. Because yeah. he's gonna be on Team Raw. So yep, that so, that's that's what I would think is yeah. a very easy fix to your dilemma. Yeah. So anyway, the, uh, go we go backstage and uh, Kurt Angle's there playing with his phone probably, mm-hmm. and that's then what he uh, usually does up walks Shane McMahon. And of course, they exchange you know hellos and whatnot. Good Pleasant to see trees. you, yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. And then Angle thanks Shane for lending him AJ, and you know jokes about keeping him on Raw. And then he basically says, you know, but beside AJ, your brand's pretty weak, <laughs> which is funny. Yeah, but and then they kind of. Well, it's not. It's not entirely wrong. Um. Uh, yeah, not really. The 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 star power on Raw is significantly more. Oh, it's the, it's the flagship show. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, so, I, I um, realize that. But yeah, both of them kind of just try to say that their brand's better, mm-hmm. and then Shane kind of just walks away. Oh, and then he said, you know, we're, we're going to be under siege, right, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't that. remember how he brought that up. I it wasn't know. organic, that's for sure. No. It wasn't like the, the trash stuff from mm-hmm. Sunday yeah. with the Miss. Um. Anyway. Yep. So uh, after that, we have the rematch from Asuka versus Emma. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty much the same. Yeah, it was just a shortened version of that match, yeah. which it was still too long, in my opinion. Yeah. Emma still got a lot of offense in. Yeah, that's still it's entertaining. But yeah, so. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how well Asuka is going to be perceived by the fans. I don't think. No. That's... I feel like it's going to be like the whole Shinsuke thing all over again. Well, a the fans love Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. We don't like the booking. That's why we think that they're not doing much with him or in general. No, no, I, I yeah, I get that. Because what even whenever his music hits, the fans oh they go ooh, crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I remember when we went to the NXT event and everybody was singing it outside the uh, garden. Yeah. So that that part isn't important because the fans like him as a character. Mm. I think the same is going to be for Oscar. Yeah. Because it'll overshadow the booking. Yeah, and their characters are relate not relatable, but they're easily portrayed. Yeah. So, because, um, like uh, an example, like the Shinsuke, Asuka, Bobby Roode, because they have like very like. Well, Bobby dominant. Roode, I think they're completely confused at what to do. With oh, them. absolutely, they have no idea. Not a clue. They didn't have a plan. Booby Roode. Yeah. Because they wanted, they wanted a guy that they knew people were going to cheer to be a face, but it just doesn't His work. His character with, doesn't work as a face. Yeah. So, so we'll get um, to that on SmackDown. But yeah, so those people, like, they'll automatically have the fans' favor. It mm-hmm. doesn't really matter what they actually do with them. So. Yeah. But yeah, I think Oscar would be just fine, mm-hmm. obviously. Yeah. Um, so. Brings out Alexa Bliss. Yes. So she's, not, not while Oscar no, yeah, and yeah, are in the yeah, ring. Yeah, obviously, next segment. Yeah. And she basically talks about her match with Mickey James at TLC and how that's now in the past. Of course, joke. I guess that. I guess that's not really a joke, but. Um, and then she talks about her match against Natalia at Survivor Series, and she was just talking about how like the fans weren't respecting her and things like yeah, that. Yeah, she After wasn't her getting chanted. Yeah, and she tries to get them to do a "You Deserve It" chant, and then uh, Mickey James comes out in like giant heels. And was able to hit a what a DDT on her? It was a uh, it was tilt a tilt world DDT. It was something weird like that. because it looked like she was getting thrown, mm-hmm. but then she. Yeah, ended was up. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a tilt world. Yeah. Well, we're, we're it makes this. sense. But and yeah, then she it grabs was, the mic and says that she deserves it. Yeah, it was pretty pretty good. Yeah, it was a bad Alexa, segment. Alexa, the, the promo leading up to the Mickey came coming out was good. So. Yeah, and uh, you got to give her something to do. Well, with, yeah, it's just a it's a weird time of year. Well, right now. 
the Survivor Series build has officially started, mm-hmm. but there's no... Well, A, it didn't... It's not going to take over both shows. So they kind of have to do yeah, a little something in between, which is generally just extending the feuds they were in. Yeah, because right now, it obviously didn't start yet where we are, mm-hmm. like in the show. But leading forward, they have to kind of do it in like slow motion because there's Gradual. still a month left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. So what they'll do is little things here and there. Um, But yeah, like you said, they're just going to extend the feuds that yeah, they're already... pretty much, which is fine. Yeah. Um, after this, three women segments in a row. Yeah. So uh, backstage, Sasha and Bailey come up to Kurt Angle and say they want to be the captains of Team mm-hmm. Raw. And you then, know how we do things on Raw. Yeah. We settle it in a match. Yeah. And then Alicia Fox comes in. She bursts in and says she whatever. wants to be captain. Yeah. And then Angle said, all right, later on, we're going to have a triple threat match between the three of you, mm-hmm. and the winner will be the captain. And then Kurt Angle pulls Alicia Fox aside and goes, you know, Alicia, pinfalls can only happen inside the ring. So did that happen on Sunday? Yeah. She, she tried to Yeah, pin she did Sasha. a move, and she, like, very momentarily like went on top of sasha for a pin oh okay. yeah i i guess i must have missed that part they played the replay last night but I, i'm guessing this was oh no this wasn't when you were falling asleep actually it probably was right that's probably what they showed before mm-hmm. the match so fair uh, enough anyway yep. so uh up next elias comes out mm-hmm. and he makes fun of aaron Rodgers because yep, they, sh- they were in green bay yes which the bunch of the packers players were in the front row yeah um, so the fans were chanting, let's go pack. Yeah. Which is apparently something they chant at Packers games. I don't know. I've never been to one. Yep. So, um, yeah. So he's trying to sing his song and the audio keeps screwing up. Yeah. Well, cause he claimed that he was going to be singing and or uh, performing an uninterrupted show. Mm-hmm. Of and, course. And then, uh, then he calls out Kevin Dunn. He didn't call it Kevin. <laughs> he said, whoever whoever the IT guy or mm. the tech guy yeah, that's yeah. messing up the microphone, I'm going to go back there and kick your ass. Could and have then, been Kevin Dunn. I guess. Well, it probably was. Um, but it was obviously intentional. Yes. Um, so uh, apparently Jason Jordan has learned how to use that stuff, too. Yep, and he comes out smiling. Mm-hmm. It's just... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as you think it is. No, it's just the whole presentation of him. It's just so lackluster. He gets no reaction from the crowd. Well, that doesn't help. It's but... just he's just such a bland-looking character, too. That, that, yeah, because... He... I'm not, like like I said, he's incredible in the ring. Mm-hmm. But the character is just... It's true. They they put too much stock into him being Kurt Angle's son rather than developing him as, a, as his that, own character. If, if anything, that hurts him more yeah, than it exactly. helps him. Exactly. Until he tells Kurt, you're not my real dad. I'm banking on it, man. Just like Alicia. Yep. You're not my dad. <laughs> Didn't you? Yeah, we'll get into that after. So, um, but yeah, then uh, Jason Jordan comes out, mm-hmm. obviously. Apparently, they were having a rematch from yep. the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, so... I think the match happens a little bit, right? Action yeah. spills to the outside pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason- Elias is over in the time, right outside the timekeeper area, and Jason Jordan comes, and he's going to ram him or something like no, that. No, well, what him. happened was he picked him up, and he just kept oh, on yeah, running him running back and the- forth into barricade. different barricades. Yes, that's right. And then he finally drops him. Elias gets fed up and then grabs his guitar and smashes it over his shoulder. That was nasty looking. Yes. <laughs> that was quite they a They made bruise. a really big deal about a well though yeah i was it, it swelled up oh, really it was quickly big. it was yeah. it was bad but yeah. i'm just saying they made it seem like he couldn't walk mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah that was weird i was like <laughs> why are you not able his to arm walk? has a big bump on it yeah. but he can't walk now I, I guess it was meant to it was probably meant to look like a headshot i guess but yeah. since there was such a visible like <laughs> yes. uh at least he wasn't bleeding like Finn. Well, yeah, but since there's since that big welt was there, there was nothing else they could really focus on, so they no. kind of had to go with that. Yep. But the plan was to carry him out anyway, mm-hmm. so they kind of just went with it. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, do they use different guitars like than they used in previous eras? I mean, how many headshots do we see with guitars every week? Jarrett would out be out there every week with are headshot. You, are you saying that? the guitar he's been using has been doing more damage i don't know it doesn't break like it would because this one i mean i guess i don't know if they used like a prop one rather than it it broke pretty cleanly yeah i think it was just the way he hit him yeah but i I feel like back when they used it it just broke right where did he ever play those guitars 
I don't know. That's a good not question. very often. Yeah. Because I'm assuming that probably just not functional guitars. Yeah. He just had it because that was his gimmick. Yeah, that's true. Because Elias has to go out and it actually needs the mm-hmm. sound. You like would think a, they would have like a prop one over the side or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Like I don't that. know why they didn't do that because it's been both times yeah. where he's and, clearly not had the guitar with him. Right. And they were both both nasty shots, mm-hmm. so I don't know. I think it's more of hit the execution than the, maybe than maybe the they're actual prop. part of it's it, probably both because you don't see that happen too often, and they don't know how to take the hit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure Jason Jordan wouldn't know how to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Finn would more likely know. Yeah, but Jason Jordan obviously has never been in any kind of real it's tr- hardcore match or anything. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure Finn was in tons of them in like New Japan. I would assume. Yeah, some sort of. At least he's, t- I'm sure he's taking chair shots and stuff like yeah. that. But moving on. Mm-hmm. So that brings us to uh, Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Yes. So they come out. And uh, so Heyman's like, so about gender sh- They pretty much were putting him down the entire oh, yeah. segment. Yeah, they were laughing. They yeah. thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Heyman says that he's the master of trash talk. But he tries not to trash Brock's opponents. Yes, because he wants he wants to acknowledge them mm-hmm. because they are worthy of challenging Brock Lesnar. Yep. He did it with Samoa Joe. He did it with Braun Ron. Strowman. Mm-hmm. And so, but this time it's a different case yeah. because he feels that Jinder isn't a suitable opponent for mm-hmm. uh, Brock Lesnar. So uh, he uh, had no problem uh, trashing uh, yep. Jinder. And then, and he, I think he ran down like... Uh, Basically, it was a disgrace to the WWE title, and they ran down, like, how do champions like this? And, you know, it's Shawn Michaels. Mm-hmm. And Bruno San Martino. Yep. And he said John Cena. He said Brock The Rock. Le- oh, yeah, The Rock. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And that uh, Raw is the, the what's that, flagship show mm-hmm. because champions like Brock Lesnar are there. Yep. And they accept the challenge. Mm-hmm. And that's... Oh yeah, he also he said that the last time that a super a SmackDown oh, right. superstar faced him, how <laughs> the match had to get stopped mm-hmm. early, open him up the hard way. I yeah. don't see that being the result well, he here. He didn't say it that. No, way, I know, but we I, all remember what happened. I I don't I don't see this match ending in anything other than a Brock squash match. I don't know. Man. I really hope so. I hope not. Because that's how. No, I, that's I, what it has to be. I want to see Jinder win. Dumbass. Why? why would why who does that help <laughs> don't me. say gender it helps, it helps me you. because everybody else will be crying and, yeah, and want to cancel the network yeah i guess that's true and I mean, you know what happened remember when people had that big thing with roman reigns when if he wins the rumble they were going to cancel the network and this wwe still did it yeah it's true so if we can get to that level of hate and they execute wait was that no, I don't think that was the year he won it that they did it. I'm pretty sure maybe it no, was. No, it was the 2016 one where Triple H won it mm. that they had the big stink. Oh, yeah, because that's Because right. 2015, people were still wanting right. Daniel Bryan mm. to win it, but okay. Roman had just come back. All right, so that was, was the, wrong. That was the start of their hatred for Roman. Yeah, I forgot Triple H won the yeah. Rumble. Because it right because they did it in the last second they changed it yeah so, because Roman went in as champion mm-hmm. and he had to defend right. the title okay I was wrong yeah so um anyway yeah so but yeah uh, Ginger's gonna win he's not gonna win yep he's not gonna win it's a lock no nope. yeah okay <laughs> you heard it here first well, we gotta we gotta make sure we pay attention to the betting odds I guess so uh, anyway that's cheating not it's not like we're betting on it you don't know that. All right, whatever. So uh, up next, we have the triple threat match to determine the uh, captain of the Raw te- uh, women's team. Mm-hmm. But you just wrote Team Raw Captain, so I didn't know what it was. Oh, I'm sorry, because there's going to be a triple threat match between three women for the men's team captain. Hey, progress, man. All right. You yelled at me for not labeling my... I just Review said it'd be week. nice if you had a title. That's it. <clears throat> right, and I would like to know that it's the women's Survivor Series match that we're All right, so the- uh, during the match, they really start playing off the fact that Alicia Fox is crazy. Yep. Um, Started kissing the referee. Yeah, that was weird. And she, <laughs> at one point, she grabs the uh, the bell and starts smacking yeah, it. She- Booker T's like, well, I guess the match is over. <laughs> That's not how this works, Booker. Yeah, l- I think this is the point in time, but Corey Graves lost it, and he was just laughing so hard at the nonsense that's going out of Booker T's mouth. I think the medication that Dean Ambrose is supposed to be taking, Booker T took, and that uh, makes sense. 
broke his brain. So uh, now that we've brought it up, how, do you think that Michael Cole and Corey Graves hate that they have to work with Booker, Ke- Booker mm-hmm. T, or do they like it? I, I don't know. I think they like it. Uh huh. Just because of how, but they don't pick on uh, Byron on SmackDown it's because like Byron's it. not. He doesn't say bad anything. At his job. Oh, well, he also doesn't say anything. He doesn't say as much. He's. He, cause it's just like I was listening to uh, the two K eighteen some of the commentary, and uh-huh. I was like, "Who the hell is that?" Oh yeah, that's Byron. Yeah. So, but it just it feels like Byron when he talks, he's more like hyping up faces, mm-hmm. whereas Booker kind of like a giddy kid though, giddy yeah, fan. Yeah. That's basically, but that's it. fine. Yeah, because that's you know that's kind of his job. Oh, I got no problems with him. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you forget he's there. Yeah, but with with Booker, he kind of just inputs things that aren't relevant and make yeah. any sense. Mm-mm. So he just so he's kind of there, but he really shouldn't doesn't need yeah. to be. So he doesn't add anything <laughs> oh. except for like you know funny things for people to make fun of him for. Yeah. So anyway, yep. so uh, apparently Alicia Fox is also stealing finishers in her. Yeah. Uh, in her. Oh, there was also a point in the match where it might have been toward the end. I think it probably was where Sasha had the bank statement on Alicia Fox mm-hmm. and Booker T. Kiko, and she's got to get to the rope. She's got to get the yeah. rope. And Michael Cole's like, there's no rope break in this match. <laughs> yeah, he's, he said it multiple times. Or it's no DQ, Booker. that's what it was. Remember, yeah. Booker, there's no DQ in a triple threat match. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Alicia does a Bailey to Belly on Bailey. Yep. And then that kind of knocks her out of the ring. Um, and then she, co- then uh, Sasha comes up from behind. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when what you're, ha- what you're yeah. talking about happened. Yep. Mm-hmm. Bailey comes in, breaks up the bank state, uh, bank statement. Yep. And then I guess in, there was a scuffle. Sasha gets knocked out of the mm. ring, and yes. then yeah, Ali- Sasha and Bailey collided, didn't they? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Sasha put uh, yeah. Then Sasha. Oh, put- oh yeah, yeah, because they just knocked into each other. I guess right. that knocked Bailey out, mm-hmm. and then she yep. pinned her, and then she pinned her. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. So Alicia Fox is going to be Team Raw Women's or the Women of Team Raw's captain. There you go. I guess. Whatever. Yep. So uh, that's definitely an interesting development. Mm-hmm. And this is going to lead to another month of Sasha versus Alicia Fox matches. Yeah. So, here we, you wrote the notes the next with the Cruiserweight 10 man tag. Uh-huh. I think there's a backstage segment before that. I told you I didn't know. It was cut off of the he- the Hulu version. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I was just remembering it mm-hmm. now because I think they were saying that if Kalisto wins, if his team wins, then he gets a shot at Enzo on 205 Live. I thought he. Uh, 205 Live was the automatic rematch. Oh, uh, was it? Gets. Okay, I didn't know if it was if they talked about it. I wasn't paying attention. Well, yeah, but they had said during the match that he gets his rematch uh, on 205 Live okay. tomorrow night. Oh, okay. They, I, I yeah. think they just, maybe they, because they made a point to say it as soon as the match ended. Uh-huh. So, I don't know. But yeah, this was, it was a good match. This was, uh, well, let's see, it was Mustafa Ali... Rich Swan, Cedric Alexander, Grand Metal League, and Kalisto. and Kalisto versus Enzo, Tony Nice, Drew Gulak, uh, Noam Dar, and Davari. Davari, right? Yes. So, <laughs> so that was great when they do, all did his dance on the stage. <laughs> the Enzo dance. <laughs> yeah, and so when the heels came in the ring, because apparently Enzo has completely lost his voice. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, Drew Gulak was reading his speech like a normal human. Yes, was, it was very it was good. Yeah, they yes. did a good job. I, with I it. love Drew Gulak. He yeah. is the best. He uh, he's got some. He, he does a good job with he's, what he's given. He's so he's so plain, but he it he tries to to like go outside mm-hmm. of like his norm, I guess, and he like does things that aren't plain. Yeah, uh, it's just it's great. good stuff. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Um. But like you said, this is a good match. Yeah, all the faces basically got to show what they had. I know Grand Metal League had a good run. He's so good. And like the fact that he's never on TV except for in multi man tag team matches. You know what's funny too is that he's so good and everything looks good. It's mm-hmm. not like Kalisto where he's good, but he has a lot of screw ups as messy well. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. He's Grand very most, he's very clean. Yeah, pretty much most of his stuff. Like mm-hmm. I would love to see him and Cedric. I, I don't understand why that couldn't main event a raw. Because they, because Enzo is the only cruiserweight that they feel like oh my, in the main event. I, I understand that, but the, I'm the, just saying the, the quality. Fact, 
And also, they have to remember the heel face dynamic. That's true. Because it's not very often that they go against it. Now, if there was some kind of match to like determine the number one contender, yeah, be a little would, different yeah. story. But that would only be on Two Hundred Five Live. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be on Raw. That would be either in the cruiserweight or women's segment right before the main event. No, it probably still wouldn't be on Raw. Yeah, it's true. Because they would want to at least give that time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, like you said, it's a good match. Uh, yeah. Kalista ends up hitting uh, Enzo with the Salido del Sol. Yep. And uh, he wins, or that the faces it. win. Yep. Um, and then we get a rematch from TLC on 205 Live. Yes. So. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, not a whole lot. Nope. New or anything. Yeah. So. Uh, that brings us to the main event. Yes. So Kurt Angle comes out, and he's going to announce who... The, I guess the captain was of Team Raw? No, or just the, he was going the first to, person? No, he was going to announce the team. Oh, okay. He said, I think he said was going to announce everybody. Oh, was he going to? Yes. Okay. But that didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, Shane McMahon's music plays. Here comes and, the money. And, and nobody's coming out from the stage. Yeah, and then all weird. of a sudden, we look to the crowd, and here comes Shane the McMahon with a bunch of thugs. Oh, I mean, no. the SmackDown roster. Oh, yeah. To come beat up some Raw people. Yeah, that was... It was weird. I thought it was. I thought it was good. No, I'm not saying that it was bad. It was just an bad. odd. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> um, this was very early ruthless aggression era stuff. It was. It was weird because, like, all of a sudden, I guess they made it so that Survivor Series is the only time that the two brands interact. Well, that's what they've been literally saying. I, I know. Yeah, it's just weird that you know when Vince first said the brand split it was going to be you know cutthroat competition and yeah both. but he, he never insisted that it was going to be no but they were going to be head. battling ratings and stuff yeah, like that that has nothing to do with them facing each other yes so um, which is funny because i think i made it a point like maybe a, a month or so back so we haven't seen any interbrand or yeah matches and then i guess that makes so sense I, why this is the reason yeah obviously they probably just builds to one point in time mm-hmm. um so like we like we said, they all came down to the mm-hmm. ring. They surrounded the ring, and, and Kurt, Kurt Angle's like, oh, "What do I do?" Yeah, and he pees his pants in the ring and mm-hmm. uh, bang three sixteen. Oh wait, that happened uh, twenty years ago. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, Shane goes into the ring. He grabs a mic, and uh, he says that uh, the show is under siege. Yes, he says and hashtag then, under yeah. siege. And then Kurt starts to leave the ring, gets all the way up the stage, and then uh, Shane's like, "Get him." <laughs> Uh, that's strange so they they chase him through the backstage Mm -hmm. which is funny because you don't see kurt anymore no 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 (laughs) so um so they get through it was and then uh, it was xavier woods is like titus worldwide (laughs) and then he he beat they beat him up uh titus and and apollo Apollo up Um, and then they go up and there's like a random uh tech guy or whatever standing by a raw tv and of course baron corbin has to be the one to go up to him yeah you're not me (laughs) yeah so they do that and then that then they take then they knock over one of the raw tv well that's when bobby Roode goes oh raw tv let's get it or something like that (laughs) they push it down yeah it was it was good it was comical and good yeah i enjoyed so, it and then they go into a locker room i think it had jason jordan oh this was the best part one well, chad gable nailed chad gable pushed everybody out of the way and starts hitting jason jordan yeah. so i guess this is to make it interesting so i guess, I guess. maybe chad gable and um jason yeah. jordan will both be on the five man it makes I sense would assume that'd I be mean, good yeah it have doesn't them. make sense but yeah i guess not because there won't be any title matches and jordan uh gable and benjamin are number one contender yeah well they'll probably have the title match between Um, now and survivor series and they'll most likely lose Mm, probably i don't see them taking the titles from the usos to just to face seth and dean you know what i mean make a good match I know, but there's also nothing wrong with the Usos facing. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying that, but I I, I don't know how but WWE. I want. Would. I th- I think that they are gonna keep the uh, the face heel that, dynamic because yeah. well, it, I mean, it lines up perfectly right kind now. Kind of on the, I guess the heel side. Who? Shelton Benjamin and not not really, but I mean, well, it, the Usos are. I think they're I think tweeners they're, now. I was gonna say. I yeah. think they're getting towards face, face territory. Yeah, that's the weird they're, thing. They're. Because the thing with respect with mm-hmm. the New Day, right. whereas they're obviously not good guys, but they seem less bad. 
But it could just be because they're the champions, so they have no real reason to be cutthroat. All right. Well, we'll get to that when we do SmackDown. Anyway, yeah. So I I would imagine that it's going to... Probably none of the titles are going to change. Yeah, it'll be just the same matches they hit it only The only one that could is probably the U.S. one because it's heel-heel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, because the rest of them, I think, are... Because... no, but no, Alexa's Alexa also and Natalia's with healing, but yeah. But Alexa's closer a face than yeah, than um anybody. That's true. So, or they're obviously not going to put mm-hmm. Sasha or anything, right? Especially if someone's already on Team Raw or Team SmackDown, they're mm-hmm. obviously not going to yeah, win that the title. Sense, so the women's are pretty much locked in. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, so anyway, yeah. So they after they dominate that locker room, they go to the next room. Yes. And then head to the next locker and room. That one I think had... Gallows and Anderson were there. Yeah. Elias was there. Yes and maybe some other random oh yeah and that first one uh matt hardy and finn balor were hanging out in the bathroom Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) so they come (laughs) they were fully clothed out like Uh, they they come running and then they go to the heel locker room yeah that's Um, right that's the face locker room yeah so uh (laughs) after they go into the locker room they run into women Mm -hmm. it was sasha bailey and alicia i guess yeah and then all of a sudden the men just like step aside and all the women which was what tamina becky natalia and carmella carmella yeah but i mean they just dominated the it was four on four it was a fair fight but the smackdown women just well they're obviously meant to look obviously yes yes because what kind of an invasion would it be (laughs) if if you lose (laughs) yeah it's true and then the men would have to start hitting women and then you know wwe would be in hot water it's true so um but yeah, then they they keep on going, mm-hmm. and then you see Dean and Seth kind of like hiding in a corner, and they try to sneak attack yep. them, and they and ultimately they, get. They destroyed. made it a, a point. Remember what we talked about? Maybe was the it big me? dog's not there. No, no, no. I know. Were were we talking about uh, AJ and Dean? Well, I was like, oh, I guess they made up. Maybe it was me and Christine. Oh no, I texted you. Oh I, yeah, I yeah, guess that's, that they that made was up. you. Okay, yeah, right. And then you see AJ beating Dean down. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, because they they never really resolved their feud from SmackDown mm-hmm. at the beginning of this year, or right? The end of last year, or whatever, whenever it ended. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, but yeah, and after then they that, all of a sudden we see Sheen. They uh, who is it? Rusev and Corbin. They have Sheen. No, you mean Angle? Yeah, that's they what said. I mean. Look yeah, who Angle. I found. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was yeah, Angle. So he uh, came out of nowhere. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. they drag him to the ring, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Shane, Shane tells Angle that they plan on bringing in a Survivor Series. Yeah. That was a good way to end Raw. It's true. It was. Uh, it was different. Different, yes. And you know, it, For, it's setting up something interesting. Originally, and earlier in the night, I was like, "They're not going to do the five-on-five cruiserweight match as the main event, are they?" Um, I, I thought that the women's match. Oh, might the triple have been, threat. Yeah. Yeah. But then I kind of, well, obviously, I know it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So because mm-hmm. Angle came out. Yeah, no. Um, it was a good, good show. Yeah, good build to Survivor Series. I don't have many complaints. That and the fact that and the, the first, first hour, hour went was... by so quick yeah. because it was gold wrestling, which you don't really get on Raw too much. It's true. It was also like the A storyline too, right. or yeah. I guess technically it's the B one. And they're not lacking without Roman and Bray there, which oh I mean, really? <laughs> that's so I, hard to believe. No, but I mean. It was almost Bray Wyatt nice. doesn't add anything. It was almost nice. Uh, no, it was nice. Not having Bray Wyatt You ruined, have to put them both into the category. I think Roman Roman is doesn't affect the negativity as much as Bray does. I guess that's true. Seeing Roman doesn't bother me. Well, having Seeing Bray on the Bray show gives you an extra me. bathroom break. That's 100% different. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but anyway... <laughs> Yep. Let's wrap this baby up. All right. So that was our Raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.